I refuse to abuse. I refuse to abuse. A baby who was welcomed by her parents and family and showered with endless love. I refuse to abuse. An innocent and curious toddler who played freely without a single worry. I refuse to abuse. An imaginative child who explored through playing make-believe. I refuse to abuse. A preteen who nervously anticipated junior high. I refuse to abuse. A teenager who couldn't wait to show her prom dress to her friends. I refuse to abuse. A young adult caught between cultures, marriage, or college. I refuse to abuse. An excited student walking confidently across the stage to receive her degree. I refuse to abuse a young woman who found love and was loved in return. I refuse to abuse a woman who gleamed so beautifully in her long white dress on her wedding day. I refuse to abuse my wife who committed her life to support and love me through thick and thin. I refuse to abuse the mother of our beautiful children. I refuse to abuse an intelligent and hardworking woman I refuse to abuse my blessing from God, my soulmate, my best friend. I refuse to abuse a strong woman who is someone's daughter, a sister, a friend, a classmate, a co-worker. I refuse to abuse because I remember sore knuckles and pain in my knees, heavy breathing with sweat dripping as I bowed in front of my in-laws and their ancestors declaring my commitment to care, support, and to love my wife till death do us part. I refuse to abuse because I must practice patience, humbleness, and humility. I refuse to abuse to model to my sons that a real man should never hit any woman, especially his wife. I refuse to abuse so that my daughters will grow up feeling empowered by seeing their mother's strength and talent. I refuse to abuse because my wife does not deserve to feel trapped. I refuse to abuse because no one should ever have to live life in fear. I refuse to abuse because I choose love, which is the most powerful thing in the world.